Uh, so I never thought I would be back talking about this topic in another video again. So after reading the comments on my past two Akami Ga Kill videos, I thought, why did I not make a video about this? So of course, we're back with Akami Ga Kill. Huh, huh, huh. I thought I was done, but we're back. So in this video, we're going to talk about who is the main character of Akami Ga Kill, like the actual main character, the real main character, not just one that we think just because we see evidence, but I'm going to go over like why and who it is. You might be surprised. I have three candidates. Two of them are obvious. One of them, I might be reaching big time, like super reaching, but for the video, I had to reach. So of course, you know, if you saw the last ones, wait, we got list on our phones because we're saving trees. Yeah. So I'll get this out the way. The three characters I'm going to talk about, one is, of course, Akame, two is Tatsumi, and the one I'm reaching is Asdef. A lot of y'all probably kicking off as soon as I said, as soon as I said Asdef. The only reason why I say Asdef is there's like one certain little thing that like makes it seems like, oh, maybe she could be, but I know I'm reaching big time just for a video, but yeah. So we'll get about like, the first Obviously, when so. I've watched the Kamiya Kill, I've always thought it was Akame, especially reading the manga, but I can't go off of the manga because the manga has too much evidence that shows that she's the main character, especially with the prequel novel. I mean, the prequel manga that literally just solidifies that Akame is the main character. So I'm not basing nothing off the manga, but if we go anime only, then there's a case for other people. So, ah, sit back and let's get ready. So, first, we're going to talk about Akame's case and why she's the main character in the anime. So, one of the main reasons is, is one, she's overpowered. That's what every main character has, is that they're, that they're overpowered. And Akame's very overpowered. She's feared by people. She has a resentment towards the Empire. She's one of the first um, badass characters you see in the of whole Of course, anime. the anime is named after her. So, of course. <laughs> I mean, like, you know, most anime, they got the main character named after it. Then they're the main character. Something like that. Uh, um, she never loses a fight. So, think of, like, people like Goku, stuff like that. Even though Goku technically loses fights. But, you know what I mean. Like, people, they don't lose the real fights. They're not like Vegeta that. So, talk to me in my opinion is more like the Vegeta compared to, but hey, we're, 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 I digress, we're go, we're go to that. She um, has a big connection to the Empire, even in the anime she still does and has a reason why she hates it. She has a little sister, because you know, most important characters have some type of family member in the anime. She's also very feared, like I said, she's no, everybody in the Empire knows who Akame is, especially it's like, that's the one person they always talk about. Oh, we have to stop Akame. They don't, they don't over, they're not over here talking about nobody else. They're not talking about Mai, of course. They're not talking about her, but they always mention Akame. She's one of the few She's... characters that actually gets to live. So, you know, main character gets to stay alive. There's random fan service stuff of her. So that, of course, that happens with female main characters. They, they always give them some fan service for some reason. It's weird. I don't know why. Just, yeah, Japan. She kills the main villain of the story because, you know, most main characters take out the main villain and she kills the main villain, like the Azdef being the main villain. If... Even though she does get a not really good or bad ending, like her, she gets one of those like middle endings because everybody's basically dead besides Nagenta. So it's like she gets one of those. But I mean, she gets pushed to the hover, whatever the the spinoff. And we could also, I'll go into the spinoff because I have something I want to say about the spinoff later on. But she, she stays alive. So that's something, I suppose. That's something main characters do. She also gets a lot of um screen times because she's on the screen a lot. Her and Toxamy and Azdef, they get a lot of screen time. Those three alone get so much screen time. Of course, she, she also um, gets a little bit of backstory, but that gets, if, if we're going with the manga, the manga, she gets more backstory. But in anime, she does get a little backstory with her sister, and also, you know that she's part of the Empire, but you know exactly what she did, is not exactly what she did exactly like that, because they don't really go into details for it. Yeah, that was a horrible, ex that was a horrible explanation, Devin, yes. But, um... One of the other things, one of the last things I want to say is like when you think of Night Raid, you think of Akame, especially like in the show, in the anime, they especially like go over that because like Night Raid is just like highlighted because Akame, she has this broken sword. Yes, and her sword is like very broken. So of course she has a broken weapon. Now we're going to Toxumi. Now Toxumi has a big case too. He's the first character you see and he's literally in, he's like, if you're going like off of like an adventure type of like Isekai type of, um, anime where you first see the main character leave from a village that's literally what Toxumi gets and also he's very weak he also doesn't know what's happening in the empire so like he's super happy and and he's uh, he's super, super happy and energetic to go to this new place with his friends and then he finds out the truth 
and that's when he starts to become hardcore and you know like he starts to like change his mindset and all that and also you have him care for every single character so every single character that's part of night raid he like helps them out and becomes friends with them and of course he gets sad when they all die more than what akame does because akame is like cold-hearted by now because she's an assassin one and Toxumi is just seeing like why is all this happening also he has multiple different love interests every main character has a lot of different love interests and Toxumi has almost every single bad bitch in the show as a love interest which is crazy but he ends up choosing my which is like why when you had as if like, yeah that's probably one of the dumbest thing ever like why why talk to me why would you choose my when you literally had as def and as def was willing on the pipe it lay it down like she was here busting it wide open for him and it's just like he chose my but okay at least you're a dragon in the um the manga so you get what you as get the episodes huh? go on of course you get to see him get stronger and like he works together and motivates her by like i was saying and one of the things that like takes him out of, I mean, he does put him in, it's just like one of the weirdest things, like he gets a bad ending. Like he gets a bad ending, he literally dies, spoilers, but he dies and that's just like, oh. Yeah, and also he's a main character that wants to change the way the empire is, change the world, stuff like that. That's other main character. He, he always has like a positive attitude about everything besides like su subtle little moments. He also, you like also in that like final fight against the prince or whoever that, the, isn't that the prince? Yeah, I don't care. He was useless. He was like pointless character. He was just a puppet. He also see like talks me shine at his brightest as showing everything that he's learned throughout and like pushing it against the empire. So it's showing the night raid and like everybody that's suffering in the empire versus his ideas versus the stupid little puppet um prince ideas with that he also is able to change people like he changes weight a little bit and shows them like what's happening in the empire so like tasumi like he literally gives off that he's a main character like crazy he gives off now let's get to the last person so this one i'm reaching big time i'm reaching so much like big big time there's only one thing that put me on here like you know what as if could be the main character this you know what the reason why she gets a happy ending <laughs> she gets a die with toxami wrapped in her arms that's a happy ending oh yeah and I, I, I also like forgot to say that toxami gets a very bad ending he like i was saying he dies that's a very one and like i said um akame gets a like a meh because like it's not good or bad but like it's funny how as Def just gets a happy ending and also she gets she gets her own backstory she gets a lot of screen time she also gets like this random like love episode with um talk to me so it's just like bro she technically could be a main character look at a comedy kill as a different way if you just view it as everything that as Def does bro she could be the main character bro she gets a happy ending how is it that the villain is the only one that gets a happy ending and everybody else gets a shit ending? That's the one thing I'm just like, bro, it's funny. That's the, that's the reason why I could say that um, that she could be a main character just because of that happy ending. But like, I'm reaching big time. I'm super reaching. We all know that she's the main villain. But yeah, I just had to put that there because it was just funny. And also, you could like also say other members of Night Raid, but so not So the main really. reason why earlier I brought up the spinoff is mainly because in there, there's evidence that shows like the formula of what the Monica was doing when it comes to a comic good kill because in that spinoff there's technically two main characters plus a villain that you could say is a main character just because of the way she is so in that one you have a kame and the pink hair girl as the main character so that leads me into the, going into the comic kill who the main characters are is so ah <sighs> So some of y'all might not agree with this, but I think it's like this. The main character is as that I'm just playing. No, the main characters are Akame and Taksumi. Cause like if you look at this, they really are. Cause like com if you compare this to like Frozen, where they have the two sisters as the main character, that's technically how this is. Akame is the OP character. Taksumi is the Deku main character that is weak, has to get stronger, always gets beat up. Akame is just unbeatable, broken, always is strong, stuff like that. If she's going against a bad, she's going to get strong. She's just one of them OP type of isekai characters. Technically how Akame is, if you look at her as that. And and Taksumi is just a Deku of the show, so he's like weak. And he has to get stronger. He's always happy, progressive, all that. Akame is just cold-hearted about it. Got a broken weapon. She not taking nothing from nobody. And it's like, like the anime literally shows that these two characters are the main characters. Because they get the most focus in the show. I mean, Toxmi does get a bad death. It's like the one. This is like one of the one few shows where the main character would die, and the other main character just, just and like, like the man. other main character just is just like she just is there. She gets a, at least she gets put up in a spinoff in a I'm a prequel manga, 
but still it's like yeah i'm not really mentioning the manga but just i just had to mention that little part of it so yeah there's two main characters in the comic good kill technically as if just there to get a happy ending it's like crazy how does the villain get a happy ending compared how are you gonna let a villain get a happy ending but not the other main character get a happy ending crazy at least in the manga tatsumi kind of gets a happy ending, even though he really doesn't because he gets turned into a dragon okay i spoiler i know i know i've said anime i'm not gonna bring no more manga up but yeah a comic girl has two main characters you also could say the manga during writing the manga he realized that he why was he focusing so much on toxamy when he wanted akame to be the main character because quote unquote the show's named after her he could have called it night raid night raid but i don't know a comic good kill probably sounds better but if you would have named it night raid that would have made it so, way more easier to be like yo this this anime is about toxamy but I don't know there's too many things that show akame is a main character her being op and having a broken weapon just to me makes it be like yo she's a main character and then talks to me being shown first and getting all this backstory and story development and how like progressive happy positive he is compared to akame it's just like both of them were meant to be the main character like, like i said Toxumi is the deku akame is the broken isekai character basically even though she's not an isekai character you know what i mean isekai characters are really broken but yeah Hey, if you enjoyed this video, check out some other Akami Kill videos. Let me know if there's any other Akami Kill type of videos you want me to make, because I have a few ideas for some. Like, I have a very interesting video about who who actually should have died, who should have stayed alive, because there's one character, I'm not going to say it is, Chelsea, um, that I feel like um, should have died, because there's certain stuff in the prequel manga that shows why Chelsea should have died. Oh, excuse me. But let me know in the comments what videos you want me to make over Akami Kill check out my other ones let me know just leave a comment if you really enjoyed you should like if you didn't enjoy you could always dislike subscribe if you really 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 enjoyed and yeah just know we'll see how many more comic Good kill videos i could push out because i don't know because after reading them after reading all the comments from every single comic Good kill i'm just like always oh, uh. there is one i want to talk about how is a comic Good kill a sad anime because i do want to talk about that that's another one in the comments that i want to bring up because like there's so many comments about it i want to be like I have a video idea for that but yeah if you enjoyed like i said you should like and all that but yeah thank you again for watching i'll see you in the next video bye